Today we will work on a restorative class, yeah? And we will do affirmation for love yourself, yeah? For self-love. Self That's why I'm, I'm wearing soft pink here. Yeah? Pink is a color of unconditional love. So for this class, we will need, as always, a, a bolster. Now, if you don't have a bolster, you can use or two pillows or, or one, uh, the ones that are a little bit harder that you can rely that is not that you fall. Or uh, you can also use maybe, um, you know, the cushions of the couch. Yeah. Uh, sometimes on the side where you put your hand on the armrest, that is, is a cushion and it's not too big and you can use that as well. Also, we need, a, if you don't have yoga blocks, we need a couple of cushions to make the bolster or the pillow a higher or lower. Yeah. Uh, today, as I told you, we'll do um, affirmation for love yourself. So if you never, probably you, are, you come already to my classes or so you are used to, but if you never work in affirmations or in this class in particular, what we do is we mix the affirmations in the restorative poses. So we are in a beautiful, relaxing state. So the affirmations can, can work more deeply. Yeah. Now, the affirmations, I will, in, in a couple of postures, I will say a, a few affirmations that you would like to maybe repeat or just listen in and absorb it. Now, normally when we work in affirmations, uh, if the affirmation is too far away yet from your comfort zone, you could feel like uh, rejecting the affirmation or feeling annoyed about the affirmation. So for example, uh, let's say I will say I love myself. If you are not yet there or you have those days that we don't love ourselves at all. If you say, I love myself, you feel like uh, you are lying or cheating or like, uh, no, that's not true. So in, in that case, we can repeat when, when you listen, instead of getting annoyed, you can say, I'm willing, I'm willing to love myself or I'm willing to love myself more today than yesterday or every day. I'm loving myself a little bit more. So try to make the affirmation more comfortable for you. So it's not too far away from your comfort zone. Yeah. So you can absorb it because if it's too far away and you uh, feel annoyed about the affirmation, you will, you won't get the same benefit of the affirmation. Yeah. That's one. And you will notice that the affirmations we are working always in the present tense. Yes, so I am like a something that is already manifested, that is already true. And uh, there is no negative in the phrase of the affirmation. So um, you don't say no in the affirmation, always in a positive way. Because if you say no, the subconscious mind doesn't read the word no. And let's say, for example, uh, you say instead, I love myself, you want to say, I don't hate myself, but the subconscious mind doesn't read the I don't. So you will read, I hate myself. Yeah. So remember always in positive uh, um, way in present tense and make the most of the affirmation, trying to make it closer to your comfort zone, but always a little bit more than your comfort zone. So you get more and more benefit of the, the affirmations. Yeah. And the beauty, what I found uh, in my own practice that when I started to do affirmation if, el, a few long years ago, but um, when I mix it with the yoga practice with my, the 
the feel uh, when I am more relaxed because on the on the poses you you get into a nice relaxation more in the restorative uh, poses. So when you are more relaxed, like uh, the affirmation goes more deeper, and you can feel directly the motion. Not only the sinking man, you feel the motion and you feel it in your body as well. So I notice when I work in affirmations using relaxation and the movement of the body and it is more effective. Yeah. So I hope we are ready to go. So we will uh, lie down on the floor. Yeah. And you can put your bolster or your pillows beneath your knees. Okay. So the bolster normally if you can't put it beneath your knees so that will make your lower back more comfortable on the floor yeah and allow your body to relax there yeah to start to relax so nice and comfy So allow yourself to start to settle on the position, start to ground through your hips, through your lower back, feeling the connection with your back on the floor, starting to spread your back and lengthening your spine. So the chin, bring the chin a little bit more forward toward your chest. Lengthening the back of the neck and expanding your shoulder blades on the floor. Yeah, so really nice and comfortable. Start to spread more and more. Start to soften into the support of the mat and the floor and start to bring your awareness to your breathing so when you breathe in imagine starting to receive a beautiful energy of relaxation and peace and imagine that energy moving through your body starting to melt away all of your tension, your tightness, your stiffness, your pain, discomfort, stress, worries, fears. And as you start to relax and release all that to the floor, start to visualize also your roots beneath beneath the mat, supporting you, minding you, protecting you, and absorbing all of that tension that you are releasing, offering you a beautiful place where you can release everything that could be bothering you, and we will release also the negative statements and thoughts about ourselves. Imagine that they are falling as well into those roots. And the roots will recycle all that energy, all those thoughts, all those feelings. And imagine that you are breathing back that energy, fresh and pure, filled as well with the energy of the planet. So imagine the planet as a beautiful mother, a loving, protective mother that is giving you all that unconditional love that only a mother can give. So imagine being surrounded by that protection, by that loving energy, by that loving energy. And imagine also around you a loving, caring energy if you can visualize it also as a light, a soft pink light all around you that you are breathing in. With each breathing, you are absorbing that energy, that light, that unconditional loving energy 
that is moving through you, dissolving all those feelings and thoughts of negative connotations about yourself and leaving free space in your mind, in your heart to receive positive statements, to receive a loving energy, to transform the feelings inside about yourself. And as you keep relaxing and bathing in that loving energy, allowing that energy to move through yourself, we will start to bring some gentle movements on your physical body. So we are allowing that energy to flow more easily. Yeah? And as we release the physical tension, it's like we have more space for the energy to move even more freely and to fill all those spaces with positive thoughts about ourselves. So we'll start to bring movements to your hands, to your feet, moving your fingers, your toes, moving your head side to side. And maybe we can bring the arms back and lengthen and stretch soft, gentle. And then we will bend the legs. We can keep the bolster beneath or we can take the pillows or the bolster from beneath. And we will bring one knee closer to your belly, softening, we are not forcing relaxing your shoulder blades, relaxing your elbows, and lengthening the spine. So we bring more and more your chin toward the chest, so we lengthen the back of the neck. And then we open the knee to the side, shoulders relaxing, elbows. And then we lift in the leg up. We move the legs side to side a little bit, not too forcing, not tensing. And then we move the foot in circles. And then the opposite direction and flexing and stretching. And then we relax. We bring the other knee. We soften, relaxing again. Shoulders, elbows. Surrender to the floor. So as we stretch here, we are stretching the lower back. Yeah? Imagine that we are open your spine, your back, to release all the physical tension. But remember, when we are working on the lower back, the hips, the belly area, we are working on the emotional body, the second chakra, yeah? the sacral chakra. And this chakra is the center of our, our emotions. Yeah? So it's a good place to work when we are working in affirmation for love ourself. Yeah? So relax, open, release. And then we bring the leg up and we move the leg side to side. Soft, gentle. And then we move the foot in circles. and flexing and stretching. And then we will put the foot over the other leg with the knee open. And in this position, we bring 
the legs here. This is a beautiful stretch for the lower back, for the hips. So on the physical aspect, we are releasing tension. And on the emotional aspect, we are releasing already emotions and feelings that could be bothering you. Imagine that the, the feelings and the emotions are trapped also on the physical body. So as we release the physical body, we are releasing also those feelings. And then we go to the opposite direction with the opposite leg. <coughs> now, the uh, statements that we have about ourselves, they are coming f really deep. They are coming from our childhood. So what we will do during the class is we'll use, for example, the child pose later on to release the negative connotations about ourselves, at least the one that we can access today, and we will replace it. Yeah, that's the idea of the affirmations. And we move both legs. And then we relax toward one side and we go to all fours. So we put the knees on the floor and we move the hips in he circles here. Yeah? Now the shoulders are away, relax. Shoulders open, chest, breathing forward. Breathe out back. So imagine that you are breathing that loving energy and you are releasing tension, stress, worries. And then we go to the opposite direction. And then on the center, breathing, open arching, shoulders away. Relax the lower back, yes, so we arch without forcing. And then we round, relaxing your head. Remember the head follows the line of your spine. So when we arch, we lift in the head. When we round, we bring the head, relaxing down. So we do two or three more, feeling your spine, feeling your body and feeling what you feel as you move, noticing everything that is going on in yourself, in your body, that deep connection established as we move. And then we will curl the toes. We put the back of the toes on the floor. Expanding. Open chest and head. And then we squeeze. And again. Breathing open. And relaxing. And one more time. Ah, then release. So we go to child pose, we open the knees, we go back, we relax, we put the head on the floor or on a pillow, and we soften deeply, relax through the blades. <coughs> relax your shoulder blades and your elbows, sorry. And soften deeply to the floor. start to relax more deeply on the floor feel that support beneath you from the floor from the mat but imagine the roots beneath you and the whole planet beneath you supporting you so visualize the planet as again a loving mother supporting you minding you 
offering you all the support and the love. Then we go to the other side. Surrender. And then we go back to the center. And we go again to all fours, shoulders away. And we bring one arm beneath the other arm. We relax the shoulder. We put the head on the floor. We lengthen the neck. And we relax. Softening the arm. Softening the shoulder blade. Softening your chest, your heart on the arm beneath. And again, allow yourself to be minded, to be supported on the position. Surrendering deeply. And then we go to the other side. And we soften. And then coming back to the center. We soften shoulders. We do <coughs> sorry, we do a little bit of downward facing dog just to stretch, yeah, a little bit. Soft, relaxing. So we are not forcing. We are bending the legs, we are relaxing your head. Move a little bit side to side. Yeah? Whenever you get tired, you put the knees on the floor. We soften, good, and then relax. We put the knees on the floor, and we will work with one leg, yeah? So we extend the leg back, shoulders away, we open, and we round. Breathing open, and relaxing. Breathing open. And relaxing. One more time. Expand. And release. And we will put the other leg. Breathing open, arching. And rounding. Breathing open. And rounding. One more time. Well done. Very. And from there we will sit 